It says, Auntie B, about them facts. How you doing? What in the world is going on up in here, up in here? Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Okay, so this is the affidavit of complaint against a CEO TZ, Joshua Taylor. So he done... Right here, Joshua A. Taylor, male. Up in here, beating up his girlfriend. Beating up his girlfriend. They done got called. They smell weed. You know, they up in here done found 800 and something grams. Uh, uh, let me see. A Glock. Possession of a, a controlled substance. Simple assault. Deputy Young. How he how he out? Who rushed him through the system before uh the feds could come, the marshals could come and question him about Dolph's murder? How did this happen? How did a convicted felon get caught with a Glock let alone the drug pair the drugs how he out I'll wait no answer oh, okay I didn't think so so, when did, uh, oh boy, uh, Devin, Devin went to court, let me double check something. So, Devin was released on the 22nd, and then four days later, Joshua Taylor was arrested. Went through the system and was out. He he went in, uh, Devin went in on February 22nd. So he was in there for two months. Joshua is in there overnight. Less than 24 hours. And he out. I'm going to tell y'all now, some ain't right with this. Some ain't right with this. So on, on top of these charges, all of this stuff here. He beat up the girl. He beat her up. And they still let him out. <laughs> uh, Shelby County. You got somebody on the inside. Something going on. Either all of this is staged or it's a whole bunch of crooked stuff going on. We responded to a hang-up call. Her loud disturbance. So he, he ended up beating the out of her. A knot on the forehead. Oh, they, they provided medical attendance on scene because she, she want to go to the hospital oh he went through her phone so she intentionally head bucked him she <laughs> this is uh so they got a search warrant they had in they got a search warrant took him to jail let him go in less than 24 hours shout out to onan for the affidavit so her name is a uh, timberly timberney ward 
Timber Timberney Ward. Let me show her to you. So this is her. Back in 2021. Okay, so come on down. Let's go on down right here. So the drug, so he was in a stolen Camaro. Because that's where the drugs, there was drugs also there. Scratched out van, you know. Part of that uh, chop shop stuff. I don't know, I already talked about that. And they let, they let him go. A vehicle in the garage searching for the van. It was reported stolen. And they let him go. Marijuana individually bagged in two bags. Scale green leafy substance. Money on top of the refrigerator and Remy Martin. Duffel bag. So, let's just put stab. She stabbed uh, the tires in the bit. And she didn't go to jail either? <laughs> Come on, y'all. This has got to be a joke. And he had a Glock, a convicted felon. That has been altered, I think. Because <laughs> it has dangerous a uh, felony with the weapon. Yeah, something right. I would hate to think now that uh, MPD. Yeah. So it says the rights waiver forms were completed. So the right to remain silent. And as, as they was doing all of that while speaking with them, then he uttered taking ownership of the drugs, the firearm, and the stolen vehicle. So, so that she wouldn't go to jail, he claimed ownership of it. And, you know, if, she, if he wouldn't have done that, I'm sure she'd still been in jail. Uh, since he gets out in less than 24 hours, I don't know how he did that, but that's what happened with stolen uh, vehicles, drugs, weapons, all of that. So neither one of them. Are going to be charged with that, with just what was found in this house, let alone uh, the feds talking to. Him about young dog. He didn't stay a full 24 hours. And he got out without bonds. So he not going to have to repair. Where they do that at? Who else have ever been that lucky? So you mean to tell me. That MPD. Allowed. Shundell Barnett to be released in Indiana. They didn't go get him, so he got released. It's a person of interest was, was caught, and within 24 hours, less than 24 hours, he was released. At least Devin Burns was in there two months. So he could, you know, he could have been questioned. But CEO Teasy, the leader of True La Mafia gang that is directly tied to the Dolph's murder, was let go. Because he's CEO Teasy and they let him go. Okay, so he was transported to Poplar on numerous 
felony drug weapons and theft charges. Y'all, come on. You see all them grams? Grams, gram, gram, grams. TH tested positive for THC. Some ain't right. Some ain't right. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say right now. Is some ain't right. Somebody dirty, other than the criminals. Somebody got some explaining to do. MPD got some explaining to do. Come on. Shelby County Judicial Commissioner Harris. Yeah, who, who allowed this? Who signed off on this? Where is a U.S. Marshal? What's his name? Uh, Tyrese Miller. Where you at, man? What is, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Somebody need to tell me what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to end right here. But uh, this, ain't, this ain't it. I'm telling you that now. <laughs>